kusidiosis na kukuha sa maduming paligid o sa mga contaminated water. ang pag-usapan ngayon ay ang kosidiosis. So, what are the symptoms of this disease? Siyempre, minsan, pananamlay at hindi pagtuka. Ang pangalwa ay panunuyo ng mga pa at is, o yung mga skills niya. Pamamayat at ang pinaka-common na pagdudugo ng mga dumi nito o yung sesum. So, ano nga ba ito? Ipapaliwanag ko ito. So, maraming magsasaka kasi ang nagtatanong pa rin matungkol dito. Yung iba tiyatamaan ang sesum o yung ipot talaga yun ang nag yun ang parang yun talagang palatandaan ng ibang ng karamihan na magsasaka yung iba sa middle intestine at lumalabas na orange o pulang dugo minsan marami agad mamamatay biglang mga sisiw although maraming kosidiosis medicines tulad ng toltrazori, sulfaclozin na nire-recommend ako din marami pang may case din na lumalabas ay ang whitish patches sa bituka o kaya mga cheese exudates sa sesum kaya nagakos ng paglipis ng bituka na kinakalabasan nito ay pagkamatay. Kalimitan nangyari ito sa mga sisiyo galing sa elevated brooders. Kapag ang gamot na ginamit ay tulad ng tortrazuril, may case pa rin na bumabalik pa rin after 2 weeks. Yung iba gumagamit ng sulpa, matapang na gamot yun. Yun ang specific na gamot ng pusidiosis. Subalit may case pa rin daw na after 2 weeks and 1 month, maaring bumabalik pa rin ang pusidiosis. So when the cosi are immediately killed, So the chickens don't have time to develop an immunity against kusidiosis. After may baba, after fourth day, the best tips of some expert is gumamit na ang prolium. Because a prolium would keep the kusid alive within its third and fourth day of their life cycle. But they kill off those in their sexual stages. And if this happens, the chickens can develop immunity. Pagdating kasi sa immunity develop, it is advisable. Basta 4 to 7 days kapag binaba, na sa soil pwedeng ulitin every 1 to 2 weeks depende sa color ng droppings o ipot o tae ng manok so ano pa nga ba yung malalim na paliwanag dito so kung hindi kung tatanungin nyo it is caused by a number of protozoan parasites called kusidya so Birds 3 to 8 weeks of age are most frequently affected by this disease or symptoms. Include droppiness, hodling of birds, loss of appetite, loss of weight, and diarrhea, which may be bloody. Yung pa, the end caused by protozoa of Pylum apicomplexa family. A meridae in poultry, most species belong to the genus Ameria and infect various sites in the intestine. For the seven days, inilalagay mo ang affected, maaring mahawa ang mga kasama nito. Ang parasites ay ang replication in host cells with extensive damage to the intestinal mucus. Most advisable in this cosidiosis is the proper sanitations of the of the houses or yung paglinis parate or and the disinfections of the housing. So let me let let me introduce or explain this ano itong hinanda ko nda kung life cycle of cosidiosis le ano na listen listen especially for those for those ano for those veterinary medicine students or and the animal science students or kaino so let ano let me explain this so this it it if you see a sporulated oocyst are shed in the feces in the litter oocyst sporulates become infective in the Presence adequate moistures, oxygen, and temperature. So, oasis are extremely environmentally resistant and can survive up to one year in dry, no, in dry, sometimes in cool environment. So, sporulated oasis containing four spore sporosis that each contain two infected sporozoites are ingested by the birds from ground and the litter picking. So, sporosis and then sporozoites are released in the gut from the sporulated oasis by 
existence a process facilitated by the physical green effect and the presence of digestive enzymes and the bile salt. So, the sporozytes penetrate the gut cell to initiate develop of a sexual intracellular schizons. Schizons produce large number of a second invasive stage. So, this number of the second invasive stage called merozoites that penetrate other gut cells to produce a powder generations of schizoids. So, the number of asexual generations from 2 4 depending on a cosidia. So, asexual multiplication multiplication results is in an exponential increase of parasite numbers. So, following a sexual life cycle, a sexual life cycle begins during which male and female gametes form. The male and female gametes fuse to form a zygote, which develops into an immature and sporulated oocyst that is shed onto the litter on the faces. faces. So, with each successive cycle, no, the number of the the number of the oocytes in the environment increases unless immunity has developed or an anticosigial is used when the environmental conditions are favorable for sporulation leading to a built up a treat the nib or semi nib birds will not be able to cope with this sudden massive explosion in the number of infected sporulated oocysts so that's all and that's the that is the explanations about about the does that life cycle of cosidiosis kapag may tanong po kayo ay you you may you may announce you may put on the com in our on our comment sections so and and kapag meron po kayong any requests na you may you may put on the comment section so i hope i hope na marami po kayong natutunan so yun lang uli marami mar thank you thank you marami maraming salamat and Pindutin nyo na yung pull button. Maraming maraming salamat.